people go like, oh, but isn't a little bit of ego a good thing? And what they're doing, they're mistaking ego and confidence. Confidence is earned, right? Confidence is based on evidence. Confidence is based on experience. And ego is based on nothing. Ego is stolen. Confidence is earned. Like I say, I don't have belief in myself. I have evidence, right? I know what I've done and I know what I'm capable of. And it's funny though, that's actually what humility is too. Humility is a knowledge of ourselves. It's a knowledge of our limitations primarily, but it's, it's self-awareness rather than self-absorption. And so, no, there's no amount of ego that's a good thing. Confidence is essential. If you don't believe you can do something, you're probably not gonna be able to do it. But just because you believe you can do something does not mean you're going to be able to do it. And that's really the problem. So people see your Donald Trumps and your Kanye Wests and they go, oh, but, but look how successful they are. Yeah, but they're constantly at risk of, of imploding, of destroying all the things that they built. To say nothing of how much more successful could they have been if they weren't constantly getting in their own way. I mean, I carry this coin in my pocket it says ego is the enemy. And then on the front, that's a statue with its head cut off, right? Because that's really what ego is. And then on the back, it says ego sucks us down like the law of gravity. And you can see these are the three phases. We're either aspiring to do something in life, we're experiencing success, we're experiencing like adversity. And there's, there's different manifestations of ego at each one of those phases, but it's toxic. It is a cancer. It is gravity pulling us back down painfully to the ground uh, at every step of the way.